roll. It's best to have a foam roller if you can. <laughs> no, we used to have one. I know, but we don't. Um, so then I take three chucks like this, and then I just roll it up like this. I really need like more, but just you get the idea. The thicker this is, the better. And just tape it, tape it. And again, Walters, you need, this is why Spinning Babies is most effective during labor. Because you don't need want strong have, contraction. And you don't want to have to do this. No, this is like the, my last stitch effort. Because yep. it's very labor intensive. And it's, okay, babies don't like it. We will also tell the docs that we're going to do it okay. so that they know. So if someone's having variables before, I'll like give them a little extra fluid right before we do this, maybe. Okay. okay. So again, I bring, Jessica, can you help again? Sure. I'll tap a friend. And usually I ask always another nurse because of like, I really want to prevent injury. So, okay, so if she's, first things first, I explain to her what we're doing. You're gonna be almost on your head. Like sometimes we can even do some down the bird. So, we'll do that. Okay, there we go. Okay, so then I'm gonna have you grab both hands. Actually, no. So first I'm gonna have you sit up. Oh, I'm trying to <laughs> <Yes. Yes. laughs> Okay, move this. I'm moving this. Okay. And you're epiduralized, so you're not able to move very well. Okay, and then I'm gonna place this down. I'm gonna have her come back. And then I'm gonna have her shift so that I I feel her hip bones where they are, and I want the rolls right underneath her hip bones. Ball feel. Because sometimes if someone has a different body type or shape, it's hard to know where you are. So you have to feel. Okay. So foam rolls in here. I like it even thicker, like this thick, if I can. Then um, I take off the bottom of the bed, feet up like this. Again, for three contractions. And hopefully they're close enough together where you can go with the momentum, right? Okay. So I'm not happy. Because you don't want them laying flat on their back in for November. like 40 minutes. For 40 minutes. <laughs> they're contracting every 12 <laughs> minutes. Okay. So, Megan, I'm going to have you grab onto your side rails. That'll just give you some leverage. Okay. Then what we're gonna do is, when the contraction starts, I'm gonna slowly lower, slowly lower your legs, and you totally drop. So your the weight is totally to gravity, your legs. You just hold them like this, and I just spot her, because I don't want her to slide off the bed, and I don't wanna jerk her leg, because I don't wanna injure the nerves. And then we just hold it like this for three contractions. For three contractions. Do you have anything to add? It, it, on a OP baby, they don't like, because they're getting hyperextended as well, Uh huh. and they will rotate. You can they get see uncomfortable, them. So they get uncomfortable, and you can move. see them. And rotate. you'll see her belly is like up like this. Yep. It's crazy. It's really, it works pretty fast when it does work. Okay? 